What's up everyone, it's Mr. Magoo and welcome to another Gears 5 video. Today, we're going to be going over how you can obtain the Team Phantom weapon skins and the Chrome Steel Grenadier character for free. Yeah, you heard that right, free. All you have to do is tune in to the Gears Pro League events every week. Now most of you probably already know this, but I'm also thinking that there's some of you that may not. So that's why I wanted to make this video. There is a new process to get these skins and it's not as easy as it used to be. Like when you used to tune in to the Gears 4, 4 Pro events and all you had to do was redeem the weapon skin quest. I know that a lot of you probably don't care or even watch the Pro League, but unfortunately the only way to get the Team Phantom skins is to watch for a chance to win as they are not guaranteed anymore because now it is based on a point system which you must earn to redeem. I also wanted to point out that even though we have seen these weapon skins previously in Gears of War 4, they are new to Gears 5 and it'll be the first time that we see them. And I mean the blue and red Phantom weapon skins. Skins will now be entitled based on how many points a user has accumulated. Points can be earned by watching the Pro League streams and by completing the quests during those streams. And here's how you can earn the points. In order to earn the points, you have to be logged in and watch the streams over on the website, live.gearsofwar.com. You can't go over to Twitch and watch it there because you won't accumulate or you can't redeem any points. You can earn points by watching the stream for at least an hour and by completing the quest. Points can only be earned during active Pro League live stream sessions. Now you can't go to the VOD later on or previous recordings because you won't accumulate anything. For each hour watched, you will earn 100 points and for each quest completed, you will also earn 100 points. These events last a few hours so you can rack up a lot of points, so make sure you tune in. However, there has been cases where people are watching the events the whole night and are not getting points equal to the amount of viewing time or no points at all or not even receiving their skins after they receive them. Now, there has been a lot of questions about this over on Twitter, and I believe that the coalition has already taken a look at this and they found a solution or are finding the solution. Once you redeem your weapon skins, they will appear automatically in your inventory the following week. So make sure you keep a lookout on your inventory. The Pro League events that you have to tune into will be on every week on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. If you have the required amount of points for each respective skin and you have completed the check-in quest during any of the Pro League live streams, you'll be able to redeem them. This week, on Tuesday, we were able to redeem the Torque Bow and Embar Phantom Skins, and on Wednesday, we were able to redeem more points. So each week, one day will be dedicated to redeeming a Weapon Skin, and the following day, you will be able to redeem more points. Now that was for week two. For week one, we were able to redeem the Boom Shot and the Embar. Now here's a roadmap for the Phase 2 events. For week 3, March 9th, 10th, you will be able to redeem the Phantom skins for the Hammer Burst, the Retro Lancer, and the Lancer GL. The week 4, March 16th and 17th, you can redeem for the Talon, the Snub, and the Bolta. Week 5, March 23rd and 24th, which will be the last week of the events, you'll have a second chance to redeem the skins for the Boom Shot and the Drop Shot if you missed it for week 1. And in addition, you'll be able to redeem the skins for the Claw, Mace, and the Scorcher. Now, we're also going to be able to see the mid-split playoffs, which you'll be able to redeem for the Phantom Weapon skins for the Lancer, the Nasher, the Longshot, and the Marksa. Now, here is where it gets interesting. And this hasn't been made clear by the Coalition or hasn't been explained. At the end of the split, the top scoring users, which means the viewers who will have earned the most points on the Pro League in both the Phase 1 and 2 leaderboards, will receive a Chrome Steel Grenadier character skin, which is the first time they've ever done that. So make sure you tune in and rack up those points. 
Let me know what you think about this new system. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you not care? Or, uh, and also, let me know how many points you have accumulated already. And that's how you acquire all the Team Phantom skins and the Chrome Steel Grenadier in a nutshell. Now, I personally don't have a problem with this system, but I know that it can be frustrating if you're watching and you're not getting the points that you've earned or you're redeeming something and you're not getting it in your inventory. Uh, and that could be a big flaw in this system. Now, hopefully, whoever is responsible can either fix a problem or maybe in the future implement a, a new system altogether. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And also hit the bell for notifications on when I'll be uploading a new Gears 5 video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.